Hello and welcome to this gentle series of Pilates exercises designed to release tension and soreness in the legs, hips, and pelvis. You don't need any equipment to get started with this one, so let's go ahead and come down to our mat. You'll just roll onto your side and come to your back, getting cozy with your feet planted on the floor. We're going to take a moment here and do a little body scan before we get moving. So I want you to just position your feet in several different ways, maybe a little closer to your booty, a little bit wider than you would normally have them, or a little bit narrower. Just trying a couple options so you can really land on and customize what feels best for you today. Once you've found a position that feels good, I really like my fingertips touching my heels, you can just lift the hips up and we'll start some gentle bridges. So these don't have to be the highest bridges you've ever done. We're just looking to get some opening in the front of the hip flexors and maybe a little stretch through the thighs. And then when you come down, you can think articulate through the upper back, mid back, low back, and then finally the tailbone touches down. We're gonna repeat this several times and you can really go your own pace here. So I know some people like to go up and stay in the stretch to really feel that lengthening of the tailbone that helps them open the hips and thighs. For other people, it's more helpful to just keep flowing through and to not pause for too long at the top. So really just go for whatever feels natural to your body and know that that also may evolve as the exercise progresses. We'll keep flowing through these hip opening bridges for about 10 more seconds. So just do one or two more on your own. Beautiful, go ahead and come up. Join me now in a bridge. We're gonna hold at the top and then you're gonna pulse the booty. So it's just this little squeeze of the glutes and then a release. It's gonna look like a small pelvic thrust. It feels a little bit silly to do. This is when we're glad that we're in the comfort of our own homes and not in a massive group class. Just keep pumping and breathing. This is gonna really get deep into the glutes, which is gonna help release the front of the hip flexors even more. And then lift up and hold, little booty squeeze, press the hips to the sky, and slowly roll back down. Really nice. We're gonna bring one knee and then the other into the chest. Maybe rock a little side to side to open up the lower back. And then you can really squeeze the knees into the chest. And we can experiment with a couple options here. So you could have your legs like french fries or the number 11. Or you could try the more classical Pilates stretch, which is heels together, toes apart, knees about shoulder width. So try both and see what feels best for you. And then we're just gonna start to stir the legs in some opposite circles. So the knees separate open go down around and up this is just really getting deep into that inner hip nice juicy massage and then we'll reverse several circles in the other direction nice deep breaths keep it going bring both knees back into the chest now and lift your head we're gonna reach the arms long by the side and just start to pump them up and down, keeping the knees into the chest. And then the legs will straighten up towards the ceiling, making an effort to keep the tailbone lengthening towards the mat. We're gonna start to lower the legs down. You'll feel your abs turn on more. And then you're gonna bend the knees and bring them into the chest. So we're making almost this little mermaid or fishtail motion, legs up, out, in and they bend. So several times flowing through like this while still pumping the arms. It's a little bit like rubbing your belly and patting your head. You could also just keep the knees into the chest. Well, I'll take one more deep breath here. Excellent. And then go ahead and interlace the hands or grab your own wrist behind the thighs and rest the head down. This is gonna give us the deepest stretch we can get into the hips. 
without any tension in the neck and shoulders. Totally welcome to rock side to side. Take a little intuitive movement here. One more deep breath. And then we're gonna put both hands on the right leg and we're gonna be really specific today. It's gonna be right hand on right ankle, left hand on right knee. The other leg is gonna go long in front of you and you're just gonna give this leg a little rock side to side. Nice, and then you can really stretch that straight leg away to get a stretch in the front of that hip. This will also help you keep your pelvis square. So if you find that your back of your hamstring is lifting up off your mat, really try to press that leg away and keep the tailbone down. We're now gonna just kick the leg we were holding up and down a couple times to loosen it up and then rotate it out to circle across the body around and up. We're gonna do this several times and you'll notice I'm keeping my leg bent just helps me get a little bit deeper into the hip. So you can try that out and see if it feels good for you. A straight leg also is totally okay here. After you've circled five times, you'll reverse five circles in the other direction, really still pressing that straight leg on the mat away from you. And then when you're done, you're gonna bend this knee back into the chest and give it another juicy squeeze. Nice. As you're ready, you'll switch this leg out. So we're going to do the same stretch to begin on the other side, pulling the knee into the chest. Opposite leg really presses away on the mat to stretch the front of that hip. A couple deep breaths here. Yeah, beautiful. You could walk the leg side to side if that feels good. And then we'll move into our single leg circle by taking that bent leg up. Just kick it up and down a few times to loosen it. And then it'll stay up to the ceiling and you'll circle across the body around and up five times in each direction, your own pace. When you've done five circles each direction, hug that knee into your chest, give it a nice little squeeze, maybe rock side to side. And then both knees are gonna come into the chest. We're gonna lift the head and just start to roll and rock forward and back until you've come up sitting, balancing in a little ball. It may take a few tries, no worries. We're just gonna keep rocking back and forth to the shoulders and then to the booty for three, two, one, nice. And then we're all gonna lie down on our backs, both knees into the chest. Both hands are gonna find the right leg and the left leg is gonna press away strong. Then we'll switch the legs out. So we're looking to find a really nice juicy stretch when we pull the knee and our hands into the chest. And then the opposite leg presses away to balance that out. So continue to switch back and forth in the legs. Nice, deep breaths here, you're almost there. Okay, both knees come into the chest, let your head rest for a moment, take a little breath. Good, both feet are gonna plant on the floor. We're gonna roll over onto our side and prop up for side kick. So head could be in the hand or lying flat on your arm. Knees are gonna be bent and we're gonna do a little clamshell to get into that outer hip. So the knee can press up and down. Heels are gonna stay together, but toes will move apart. And you wanna make sure you're not looking down at that leg and rocking your hip back. We're keeping the eyes straight ahead, body is stable, and it's just the knee moving up and down. That top leg is gonna come down and straighten now, flexed foot planted on the floor. You might feel a nice little stretch in the top of the hip even here. We're gonna lengthen that leg, lift it up a few inches, and then press it back down. Going a little slower than you think and moving like your leg is heavy. So you could even put on some ankle weights or some heavy boots for this if that helps you feel that sensation. And then we're gonna lift the leg and circle it five times one direction and reverse five times the other way. Beautiful. And then we're gonna bring that leg down to one of my favorite hip opening exercises, the side bicycle. So you'll drag your toe to your knee. Knee's gonna come behind the shoulder. And then you're gonna point the toes, lift the leg, stretch, and then come back down. 
So we'll repeat this several times. You could do this really small if that feels better for you. It doesn't have to look like me. And we'll just really use this to juice up and open the hips and inner thighs. Next time you come down, we'll reverse. So the leg lifts, it bends in, and then you trace down your leg. Just a different stretch and adding a little strength here as well with that straight leg lift. Excellent. Let's take this now to the other side. So you'll just roll yourself over so you can still see me. And we'll set ourselves up for the clamshells. So the head is propped, the knees are bent, heels together. And we're going to lift the knee, keeping the hips stable, and then lower it down several times. Check in with your posture and take nice deep breaths. Okay, let's straighten that top leg now. Flexed foot plants on the floor. Maybe feel that opening across the top of your hip. And then lengthen the leg to lift it up to the height of the hip and press it back down several times, moving like you had heavy weights on your ankles. Nice, lift and hold for some small circles five times each direction. And then we'll take both our legs to straight for this side bicycle hip opening. So toe to knee, knee behind the shoulder, stretch it up and then press the heel down. We'll do two more. Last one, drag it up for the stretch like taffy and then reverse. You kick up, knee behind the shoulder and then you trace down your own leg. Lovely, last time. Very, very good. And then just roll yourself onto your belly. <sighs> you can prop yourself on your forearms. And take a moment, adjust your back bend. I like the elbows a little bit farther in front of the shoulders so the upper back can really open. And then we're gonna take our fists together and really push. So we're really using this to establish a stable base. And then we bend the right knee, pull the heel close to the booty, and then bend the left knee, heel pulls close to the booty. So back and forth like this, really looking to find engagement in the glutes and in the hamstring. Maybe you'll also get a stretch in the front of the thigh and hip flexor. Several more times, your own pace, taking nice deep breaths and keeping a strong foundation in your upper back bend. Good, after your last one, press back. Let's sit back on the heels. I really like to put my four fingers and thumbs together to make a little diamond here. It lets the upper back an extra deep release. Several deep breaths here, just relax. And this position really softens tension in the hip flexors, releases tightness in the low back. It's such a nice place to come anytime you're feeling stressed, sore or your body just needs a little quick TLC. On your next exhale, press yourself up and we'll come into an all fours position. We're just going to take the hips in some juicy circles here. So we're continuing to just open up the hips and low back. You can go at the same pace as me or even a little bit slower, just tracing the hips around the clock one way and then the other. And we'll come to all fours, extend the right leg behind you, and then lift it in the air. So this is really gonna activate the glutes and hamstrings plus strengthen our abdominal muscles. Nice, and then we'll switch that to the other side. So you'll extend the leg, pull the abs up and in, and then really reach that leg behind you Engage the glutes, the hamstrings, lengthen through the heel. It's a huge stretch, crown of head to tailbone. And then you're gonna plant that foot down, other foot joins. This is our grand finale. We're just gonna stretch and use this plank to lengthen. So you're still sending the top of the head away from the tail. The stomach is pulled in. We're pressing firmly through the feet and the hands. Rock forward and back just a couple times to get even more space in your spine. 
Excellent. And then sit back on your heels. Let your body rest in a child's pose. You are all done. Ah, I hope that your hips feel like they've gotten some relief from this active stretching workout. Please feel free to come back to this one again and again. It's going to get even better over time. I'd also love to invite you to my Facebook group linked in the description below where I share more health and wellness tips almost every day. And if you enjoyed this video, please like this video, comment below to let me know what you'd like to see next, and of course, subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time on the mat.